My friend and I went over to the Black Mountains the other week to explore the Black Darren, a glacial feature on its eastern escarpment. But before we got there, we stopped by the 12th century Norman Longtown Castle in West Herefordshire, which is a classic Mott and Bailey design. You can see here the elevated keep on the tallest part of the Mott. On account of security fencing, we couldn't gain access to the keep. It wasn't too much of a downer though, as an awesome Red Admiral butterfly swooped in and landed on the banister in front of us. No kidding, it stopped still to allow us to admire and photograph it for some time. What a sight! These things usually take off, don't they? With that, we headed for the Black Hill, or Cat's Back. Not to walk it, but to chat, chill at the bottom, listen to some top tunes, and enjoy the views. They were grand views of Shropshire, Worcestershire, Herefordshire in the main frame, and Gloucestershire, not to mention Monmouthshire. Here, yeah, lots of shires in our midst. With the sun and cloud playing about, it was a grand afternoon that was set to get grander as we headed through the valley for the main event of the day, the Black Darren, four kilometres south. Here, before we get to the Darren, we admire the views back towards the Olcombe Valley and the Black Hill. It was pure Herefordshire bliss. Back to the Darren, you join us on our way up into the landslip. This glacial feature did not disappoint. I mean, it's a popular feature in the Black Mountains. <clears throat> or should I say, it's, um, it's a prominent feature, both on the OS map and from the air, even from the, even from down below, and yet today it's quiet. We've only just seen one other person. The car park is down below, so if you want to come out here and check out the Black Darren, it's called the Black Darren. You've got the Red Darren behind us, which is a minor landslip. This is the main, the main landslip, which is on the eastern escarpment of the Black Mountains. Long Town is down below us. You can check out the location here on the map. You can see where we are Black Darren, Red Darren. And this landslip occurred about 10,000 years ago. What you've got are different bands of rock appearing in the geolo geological system here and apparently it was the red sandstone which was the weakest point in those geological layers which gave rise to the landslip during what was a very cold time so there was um, the splitting of rock at the time as well I'm not a geologist but uh, what I do find fascinating is how all these factors come together to create a landslip a geological wonder such as this. I mean, you look at it. I'll study the camera for you. Yeah, when you look at it, it's really quite a, a majestic feature. And I have to say that this is Herefordshire. We're on the Herefordshire side of the border. Wales, or the Offers Dyke. The Offers Dyke is right on the top there. That's the Hatterall Ridge above there. Yeah, Offers Dyke is right above. All right, let's continue. What a feature! Mark's been having a good day as well. <clears throat> he 
He's behind me at the present moment. We've been up to the Black Hill. Didn't do any filming. Just sat at the car park there and just uh, had a good old chat. A bit of a natter. Listen to some music. So let's just head on up because I think the view from the Black Darren back the other way towards the Black Hill is pretty spectacular. Uh, the Olcom Valley, I'd like to mention that, the Olcom Valley is to, to, to our rear. <coughs> Pardon me. The wind's picking up, so sorry about that. You could possibly hear it in the microphone. Yeah, the Elcon Valley is a lovely remote valley in Herefordshire, sandwiched between the Black Hill, otherwise known as the Cat's Back. It's the highest point in southern England, 645 metres, I believe. And then opposite, you've got the Black Mountain at 703 metres. And the Elcon Valley is right in the middle. And the Elcon Brook eventually flows into the River Mono. And of course, I've got to a point now where I can share with you exactly where we are. Because the view east to our left is spectacular. Check this view out. Just steady the camera for you. Here we are. That's Herefordshire, looking towards the Mulvins. You can see the Mulvins way in the distance. I'll zoom right in. It's going to judder now. Get a bit grainy, maybe. There's the Mulvins. Worcestershire. And then what we're looking at there is Clee Hill. That's 600 metres, that's Clee Hill, near Lud uh, Ludlow, Shropshire. So we've got Shropshire, Herefordshire, right in the foreground, Worcestershire, and Gloucestershire, that way. Right, let's carry on. Yeah, here's the Black Hill. There's the Red Darren and the Black Hill beyond. What a beautiful, beautiful profile there. Check this out. So that's the Red Darren. That's a minor landslip there. That occurred about 10,000 years ago. And beyond is the Black Hill, otherwise known as the Cat's Back. If you, if you walk the Black Hill, that's the Black Hill there. That's the Cat's Back. If you walk up the ridge, you can get to Hay Bluff. You can get to Hay Bluff from there. Apologies for the wind. Let's continue up into the Black Darren. We're only a few yards. I just wanted to share this uh, geological, geological feature with you. This is all Herefordshire on the eastern escarpment of the Black Mountains. Absolutely wonderful, fantastic views. I mean, I'm just absolutely loving these views. Mark's down below. He's been having a cracking old time. Yeah, great views today. I'm just going to take a photograph of the Black Hill. I'll bring you back. Yeah, so let's just carry on up. A few more steps. Yeah, this is really quite a surprise. <clears throat> this being in Herefordshire, a lot of people associate Herefordshire with, you know, rolling countryside, woodland, farming. They certainly don't associate Herefordshire 
with uh, features such as this. I would say it's a real gem in Herefordshire. Yeah, people don't associate this county with uh, craggy features such as this glacial landslip. And you've got like all these amazing uh, kind of leftovers from the landslip, all these boulders, all these massive boulders. Some have uh, fallen down over time during the melting process. This is what I was reading about. Yeah, we'll go this way. Still got the great views. Look at that, it's cracking. Yeah, apologies for the wind, guys. You see that there? You can see how all that has slipped down here. So fascinating how gravity has worked its magic, has done its thing, as well as time. Can I just carry on and just, uh, just get into the heart of the Black Darren? That's what we're doing, we're getting into the heart of the landslip. Now then, if I were a geologist, I'd tell you exactly what was going on here. In actual fact, there is a document online which does tell you about it from the Earth Heritage Trust. I'll put a link below if you check out the link. But we are effectively in the heart of the landslip now, what they call the Black Darren. Just the sheer amount of time we're talking about. Really is a fantastic feature. I think that deserves a photograph. I'm going to take a photograph of that. Yeah, I'm really enjoying my time in the Black Darren. I've walked past it, <laughs> but never checked it out. Most unusual that I haven't done so. But yeah, if you want to check it out, guys, well, here we are. Look at this sunlight. The light has been dancing off the slopes and off the fields down below all day. It's been a really cracking opportunity to take some photographs. Yeah, I'll check these photographs out. Here's, here's a few photographs I took on the way in and on the way here. Yeah, check them out. Yeah. <clears throat> pretty decent photographs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the top here and look back that way towards the Red Darren, the Old Con Valley and the Black Hill and uh, see if I can get a shot of this, this outcrop here, get it in the middle somehow. I got the idea from uh, a friend of mine, Andy, they're local, they're from around here. Uh, a lot of you may know his blog, Surf and Slide. 
I'll put the link below of Surf and Slide. But I do check in on Andy's blog every now and then because he's a bit of a mine of information. Him and his family get all over the place. So yeah, thanks for the idea Andy. That's what brought me up here today. Well, one of the things that brought me up here. I was doing my research in fact and uh, came across your blog once more. Very good blog as well. And uh, if you don't know Andy, he's got a YouTube channel as well, so I'll put the link below. It's a very good channel. As I say, local chap, not many people know his channel, but he's there, walks all over the shop. Okay, what a view. Check this out. I'm just marvelling over the size of these boulders. The weight of them. What's well, what's the guess? What? Phew, blimey. Thirty ton. Incredible feature. The ravens are up above. Yeah, the Black Baron. I've had a really good time in there. All right, we're back down from the Darren. That was really good fun up there. I really enjoyed myself. My friend Mark had a good time. Pretty effortless getting up there. Yeah, all right. Um, the car park is here. It's at the base of the Black Darren. Uh, as I said earlier, the Olcon Valley is that way. The Black Hill, the Cat's Back, the Red Darren here, and Long Town down below. So if you want to come along, come for a short walk up to this amazing geological feature, it's really quite easy. As I say, the car park is just there. You just check the map out and check the link, link out down below. Okay, it's been really good. Uh, if you want a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, guys. Uh, not many people know this is in Herefordshire. It's a real gem. We're on the Herefordshire side of the Black Mountains. And if you, uh, you know, want to comment, just a short little video, uh, please do. You know me, I'll always get back to you. And if you want to subscribe, please do hit the button below. I really look forward to uh, hearing from you. Okay, that's me from the Black Darren on the eastern side, eastern escarpment of the Black Mountains in Herefordshire. Take care now, bye.